Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to add it, how to add in, how to add items directly to your ME storage system as you craft them. So when you craft an item, you can automatically put it into your ME storage system. Now I highly recommend watching How to Make Use and Power an ME Storage System Part 1, 2, and 3 before watching this video. So here's a 3 second spo spoiler warning. A 3, 2, 1, okay. So, now what we have here is we're, the first thing you're going to want to make is the... 1K ME storage component with the logic processor and four redstone and four pure certus quartz crystal. Now what you're going to want to make is the crafting unit which requires four iron ingots, two ME glass cables, two calculation processors, one logic processor, and that'll get you the crafting unit and next thing you're gonna want to make is the uh, molecular assembler and you're, to, in order to make that you're gonna need the annihilation core the formation core and everything here that I'm not gonna explain how to craft I do that in my part 1 2 and 3 and how to make use in power and enemy storage system so the next thing you're gonna want to need is some quartz glass and a crafting table and boom That'll get you the molecular assembler, which you do need. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get the 1K craft, you're gonna wanna get the crafting unit next to the 1K ME storage component. And then you're gonna wanna make a, then you're gonna wanna get an ME storage monitor next to a crafting unit. You're gonna want two crafting units. All right, then do I explain this already? Uh, oh, right, yes, I, I show you how to make these essential things, all right. So the next thing you're going to want to get is a mod called Extra Utilities 2, which adds in a whole bunch of useful stuff, one of which is the generator. All right, uh, which is a generator. So the first thing you're going to want to craft is a machine block, which requires four redstone, four and eight gets a chest. Wait, and then the next thing you're going to want to make is a normal generator, which requires five cobblestone, one iron ingot, two redstone, one furnace. Next thing you're going to want to make is the survival generator, which requires five iron ingots, one machine block, one for survival generator, and two redstone. All right, now that you know how to make that, uh, everything else here should be good. So now the next thing you're going to want to make is a blank pattern. And you're going to want to get three glowstone, two quartz glass, one pure certus quartz crystal, and a three iron ingots. Now the next thing you're going to want to make is the ME pattern terminal. And in order to make that, you're going to need a ME crafting terminal. Oh, i show you how to craft that somewhere. Anyway, you're going to need an ME crafting table, uh, an ME crafting terminal, and an engineering processor. And how do you get a... How do I get a... That's a, just a normal ME terminal. And this one also shows... Wait, what? Wait, that's the same thing. It's an ME pattern terminal. It's also an ME pattern terminal. Oh, wait! This... Let's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Which recipe here is the right one? ME pattern... Terminal. How do I make you? No. How do I make you? Pretty sure I got the recipe here. Okay. So it's a crafting terminal. This is the, how I make the crafting terminal. <laughs> oh well. That's this recipe here is how you make the crafting terminal. And this recipe over here is how you make the pattern terminal. Okay. Good to know. All right. Now, here's how you're going to want to assemble everything. You're going to want all the vibration chambers, which I show to make in my part 1, 2, and 3 on how to make use and power the ME storage system, which I highly recommend you should go see. All right. So now, here in the terminal, what we have here is a crafting rest, is a something that we can program. We put the blank pattern in here, and we hit encode pattern, and then I grab it like that, and then I take this, I put this over, they're the same, I just want to use the basic example and show you how to get it. Now, what you're going to want to do is that, and boom, it automatically goes into your system. If you copy this, you need a vanilla hopper here, you need an ME chest here, which I showed to make using power and ME storage system, part 1, 2, and 3. 
and here's your crafting uh, unit here and boom that's how you do it it's this easy there there we go so I don't know how to do auto crafting that's what the tutorial was originally gonna be about but I found a way to automatically craft to craft items and then automatically put them in your ME storage terminal without even trying and then it'll just go into your storage system which is still pretty handy but anyway everyone I hope you enjoyed this video